So, uh, <clears throat> good morning all, uh, respected director, faculty members, staff, batch 39, batch 40, students. Yeah, I'm really happy, really very happy, privileged and honored to welcome all you people to this 40th day Foundation Day celebrations. So, it's a great institute and you know the repute of this institute really very humbled and also very happy to welcome all you people, faculty members, staff, and also our director. I request our director to give us uh, uh, an address about what he has in his mind. So please. So good morning, everyone. And hearty congratulations as we enter this 40th anniversary. OK? So, um, uh, So not uh, many B schools in the country can uh, take that claim of uh, having been there for 40 years. And uh, during these 40 years, uh, our economy, the business order saw many changes, okay? We started uh, with uh, great uh, uh, entrepreneurship and missionary zeal by uh, none other than um, uh, our uh, dear director, former director, Parallel Arya and uh, who is no more uh, with us. And uh, he carried forward the dream of uh, our founder chairman, Bharat Ratna C. Subramaniam, okay? So his dream was to make BIM a world-class B schools and which is integrated with industry, okay? And 40 years ago at that point of time, now we are talking about industry design and industry delivered courses. Okay, we talk about industrial um, uh, affiliations and all that. But way back that time, he saw that just like a medical college comes within a, a hospital, 
like a medical college cannot be in isolation with a hospital. So similarly, a B school cannot be in isolation of any of the industry. So that time BHL was one of the top uh, um, uh, this heavy engineering uh, house and uh, it was set up there and he was the union finance and uh, industry uh, minister at that point of time. And just imagine who all were there in our board. It was none other than like Dhirubhai Ambani. It was like uh, I am uh, Ahmedabad director, IG Patel, who eventually became the RBI governor and also the London School of Economics director. And uh, we also had um, uh, people like uh, V. Krishnamurti, who is the father of modern manufacturing in India, who was the chairman of BHL. He established this Maruti Uddhok. Uh, he was also the chairman of sale and uh, many industry uh, turnaround, you know, large heavy industry turnaround, uh, he, could, um, he could steer that. So we had such people with us. So what does it mean? It means that beyond tomorrow, okay, thinking beyond tomorrow, that was embedded in our DNA right from the inception in 1984 itself. So today when we enter this, when we celebrate this 40th anniversary, it's a momentous occasion. We have to see that how we can carry that legacy forward, okay, thinking beyond tomorrow, okay. That means we need to change with time, okay. We need to change with time and uh, many things we didn't do in the past, but we need to uh, take it uh, forward and uh, we must show not just incremental growth in our life, but uh, but exponential growth in our life, okay? We are all hungry. We need to catch up a lot of lost space, okay? So we have created all that uh, facilities here uh, at BIM. Why this audience is so small, so thin? Huh? Now you take attendance later on. Huh? So, uh, so uh, going forward, I am also making August 15 and uh, 26 January attendance uh, mandatory, okay? for all, okay. So, so this is what we have to keep in mind that um, uh, excelling ourselves and in the new business order, okay, in the new business order, the only way you can remain stable, it, it's like a treadmill, only way you can be stable on a treadmill only by running on the treadmill. You cannot just relax on treadmill, you will fall. Okay, so our life in the new business order has become like this. Okay, you all will get jobs, but to to be stable there and uh, to do well in life, you have to keep running. Okay, so with that, uh, I also must uh, thank uh, uh, my uh, distinguished uh, faculty colleagues and uh, uh, and the non-teaching uh, academic staff who have played. <coughs> Uh, sorry, uh, who have played uh, a key role in our growth and uh, uh, our uh, alumni uh, body and uh, uh, Mr. Jevasan is there and Professor Ramnath Babu is also there. So many of our uh, uh, these um, uh, uh, alums, they are, uh, uh, they are uh, contributing very significantly to the growth of BIM, whether it is in terms of um, internship, placement, or even uh, being a visiting faculty or uh, getting us access to some kind of uh, new technology uh, applications that we can build our labs around, okay? So we uh, acknowledge the great contribution of uh, our alums that they have made to, the, uh, to what we are today, okay? So with that, uh, I'm also very happy that from last year onwards, we started uh, conferring Distinguished Alumnus Award. So we started it from 2022. So this year we are um, conferring uh, four Distinguished Alumnus Award. The, the first one uh, goes to Mr. Narasimhan uh, Tupil. He is from BIM 6 batch, 1989-1991. He is working with HP. So uh, he has um, uh, significantly contributed in the field of e-commerce and uh, this IT services industry. Next, uh, Mr. Hari Krishnan S. Beam 15 batch, 1998-2000 batch. 
and he is an entrepreneur and uh, he has really done well and he actively supports the alumni activities and he is the co-founder of Blue Lotus Capital. Next is Mr. Abhishek Gupta. He is an uh, entrepreneur and uh, he has contributed in the field of uh, business consulting. He is from BIM 16 batch, 1999-2001. And uh, then uh, comes Mr. Prem Kumar Ji. He is a social entrepreneur, uh, being the founder of a company called Bumblebee. And he is from BIM 19 batch 2002-2004. So after this, I will be uh, going back to Chennai. And uh, so we will have a function in the evening at uh, IIT Alumni Center. So uh, they will be physically receiving this award, our chairman would be present in that. So I'm also happy that um, this um, uh, BIM 17 batch, they, uh, they, uh, they created an endowment uh, for the most uh, well-rounded uh, student in the name of, in the name of our um, alumnus uh, who passed away, Sri Gokulnath. So this is called Sri Gokulnath Memorial Award this is a gold medal for most well-rounded student. And this goes to the outgoing batch. That means BIM 38 batch, one person from BIM 38 batch will get it. So she is Miss Priyadarshini S, BIM 38 batch, 2021-23. So in this, uh, you must show that uh, all-round uh, abilities in yourself. You should not get into any disciplinary actions. You should not get any supplementary, and your CGPA should be above 7.5, okay? So it's not easy getting into it. Your CGPA could be even 9, but there could be one supply. Then you are not making it, okay? So, so this is uh, the most well-rounded student, and, uh, and this is uh, selected both by our PGP chair, uh, the, um, uh, the faculty in charge for the alumni body, and uh, these um, and that um, alums themselves, particular group that uh, BIM uh, 17 batch. Next is that BIM 12 Endowment Merit Scholarship Award. Okay, so this award uh, usually it, it's a cash award, and uh, this is um, established by this BIM 12, and this is given to the toppers of the outgoing batch. In this case, outgoing batch means uh, this BIM 39, okay? So this goes to Miss uh, Adi Shankari and uh, BIM 39 batch. Mr. Harish Chandra Mohan, then Sriram Balaji and uh, Mridula J. I think they are already in Chennai, right? Yeah. Then uh, Capsim Foundation Winner Awards. As you know that um, this simulation is an integral part of our learning and uh, we uh, invest heavily on software, on the simulation packages, whether it is on, in our operations lab. And uh, we are perhaps the only institute where in the first term of MBA, we take you through business dynamics and you learn these simulations, okay? And we have uh, one of the best faculty you can think of uh, in the country today teaching you these uh, simulation games. And we have been consistently winning this uh, simulation competitions, CAPSIM simulation competition. And it's not a very easy one. Okay, even I am Ahmedabad, TAPMI, I am Bangalore, and all these tier one institutes, they are in the league. But uh, we always come in the top three, top four, and now uh, for the Capsim Foundation, this time uh, we came first, our, uh, this 39 batch group came first. And I also uh, hope that uh, this BIM 40 uh, can also emulate that. And uh, as BIM 39, this group comes first for the foundation. I'm sure when we come to the, the main competition, that is where also they will come first. So I uh, announce the name of the recipients, Mr. Sriram Balaji, uh, Mr. Satya Murthy, and uh, Mr. Pratush Choudhury. Okay, thank you. So Sriram Balaji and Satya Murthy, they will be receiving cash price of uh, 10,000 each at uh, Chennai. And uh, Pratush, I think, should be here. or here. Where is Pratush? Ah, Pratush, yeah. 
where is that certificate and what is that certificate? Hmm? Huh? No, Protusha certificate should be here. Hmm? So, um, uh, so Protusha certificate is supposed to be here. Uh, so, Anya, don't worry. You will get your certificate, but uh, I. I want to close the gap that uh, it is supposed to be here, and I do not appreciate such lapse. Okay, so, um, uh, yeah. Uh, so, I think your certificate also may have gone to Chennai, but I told them to keep it here, and uh, I wanted to personally hand over. Uh, but uh, never mind, it is safely kept, both certificate and uh, the cash award, okay? So, and I really hope that uh, you will do better, uh, uh, you know, in that next term. Just one minute. Oh, what happened? Pratusha's certificate and the. Uh, oh, you have carried it to Chennai, is it? Pratusha. Okay, 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 okay. Fine, 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 fine. fine. Okay. So it has uh, gone to Chennai. Okay. Uh, so uh, I wish uh, it could be given here, but uh, it has uh, gone to Chennai. And uh, I'm sorry about it, okay? I would have liked to hand it over in person, okay? So if uh, any, any vehicle traveling to Chennai yes. today? No vehicle is traveling to Chennai, okay? So we'll, uh, we'll hand it over to you and, uh, uh, okay? So, uh, so all the best and uh, thank you once again. And this each foundation day that we celebrate, it's, uh, to reflect on all the good things that we did in the past and also to, to take a new vow, a fresh vow that uh, from now what, okay? So that fresh uh, introspection will happen at the level of the institute and also at the level of uh, each one of us, okay? Including students, director, faculty, that what else uh, should I do now? Okay, so thank you so much and all the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It was wonderful listening to you and I think you guys should really appreciate and applaud for the effort he's taking to give in so much of awards. It's not something which comes in very easily and uh, he's so concerned about every individual's, you know, that's the way he wants them to move. So I think we should be really appreciative of it and we should go around for another round of applause. Wonderful, sir. Thank you so much. This really gives in and uh, Pratush, I'm also sorry about it. I'm sorry, sir. I'll get it done. I'll get it checked and uh, really let's see what we can do about it. Sorry, Pratush. So, uh, uh, but this is, it's easy to put up a sorry, you know, but then see, uh, it's, it calls for a lot of effort and uh, but at the same time, I also want to tell you guys, this is a very poor issue because we're not having all your people. So this also speaks about all this is done for you all. It's not done for us. So the effort taken should also reach well. So on that note, we'll join, we'll have our, uh, the, the cake cut uh, by our director. You people can also join. And uh, so please, please join us for the, by the student. Come please come. Also you all. Come Pratush.
Thank you.